So what we'll do in this video is we'll just simply run a conversions ad and we're running to your seller guide, right? Mm -hmm. Not the open house one. Yeah, the, we'll leave okay. the open house one for later. So we'll do um, a conversions ad to the landing page for seller guide. So let's click on the green button. We're in the right account, right? Always make sure we're in the right account and we're going to go conversions. Okay, and then scroll down. And then what you'll want to do is just name it. Just go ahead and start and get in the habit of, of titling your three levels here. So this is the, the, the video, the um, first video really for your seller guide campaign. Yeah. So start giving your name, your videos, you know, maybe black shirt in car or whatever. Like start being able to describe these, these, these videos, car seller guide video. Yes, yeah, seller guide in car. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, put conversions. That's the objective. So that's the objective we're going with is conversions. Um, and then the ad set name, ad set name, what I do there is I normally title it the city that we're, that we're targeting. So the city, the town, the county, whatever, put something there. Tacoma, perfect. And then Tacoma, and then what I'll do is I'll put slash and then the dollar amount, the, the, the daily budget, for example, 10 bucks a day, 15 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day, whatever, like um, the daily budget. So just put whatever dollar amount, five bucks. Okay. And then the third one, you can put the same as the top. That's fine. Seller guide and car. Okay, perfect. So continue. Okay, good. So five bucks is for sure, for sure, the, the lowest, lowest, lowest you ever want to run. Um, in this case, now what we're doing here is we're shooting for leads. So a real estate lead, I don't know how many like we'll be able to get for five bucks, but we're going to, we're going to obviously test, right? We're going to test and we're going to, we're going to get in the, in the habit of, of knowing how to run this, but in the future, for sure, you want to be putting a little bit more special ad category, hit the drop down, go down to housing. You'll always do housing and then you'll just click on next. That's it. So that's step one. Choosing the objective, titling every 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 step, and then going with um, going with housing, and then now we're on step two. So over here, we're going to double check to make sure that our pixel is correct, which is a three zero nine four, and then we're also going to double check to make sure the conversion event is correct, and that's our conversion event. That's our custom conversion. We set that up. Seller guide leads, right? And so it's there by default, but sometimes it's not there. So hit the X. Let me show you what it looks like when it's not there. X out. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, the seller guide leads. Conversion event. So right in the middle of the page. No, we're right where we're at. In the middle of the page. Conversion event. X that out. <laughs> so sometimes when you come here, it's blank. There's nothing there. So what you got to do is click, see the drop down, and find your conversion. Okay, so click, hit the drop down. Click inside the box, choose an event. No, not that one. Actually, you are you are at that one, but I, it was way below. So yeah, click. There it is there. Perfect. So seller guide leads, that's our conversion event. So sometimes you have to click and look for it. Sometimes it's there by default. Okay, so cool. So we're good there. So scroll down. No dynamic creative, no offers needed. Daily budget, change that to five. And then you'll always want to start your ads the next day at 6 a.m. Okay, so... Actually, it's it's just five. It's not zero five. It's just just five. Yeah, five five dot zero zero. Perfect. Daily budget, and then you'll always go next day six a.m. Oh, well, today is the sixteenth. Yeah, next day. So. Okay, and then go ahead and, and give it an end date. You can go ahead and give it an end date. Let it run for let it run for seven days. You know, let it run for seven days. Actually, you know what? Let it run for eight days, and let's talk. Let's talk on this ad in in seven days. We'll review it on the seventh day. So let it run for eight days. Six a.m. Six a.m. Always match it, and then scroll down. So, if I'm only running it for seven seven days, I was thinking I was running this for a month. Well, so we don't know yet. Like we don't know yet. We're going to review it in seven days, and if it's actually okay. doing anything, then we'll leave it on a little longer. But um, okay, because I would, yeah, if it's just gonna be 
you know, for a week, then I can put ten dollars a day. I was just thinking okay. within yeah. my budget, and it okay. So let for me sure, change do that. ten then. Perfect. Okay, cool. And 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 here's how you kind of want to want to really start to strategically like plan this part out. Like you'll always want mm -hmm. to set the ad to go live the next day, 6 a.m., right? And then what you'll always want to do is review it in five days. Like in five days, it used to be about three days. It used to be you can review an ad and it all depends on how much you're spending. Like it all depends on how much you're spending. A person that's spending 10 bucks a day versus a, hundred, a, versus a person that's spending a hundred bucks a day, the only difference, the only difference is the fact that with a hundred dollars a day, and it has nothing to do with how good the offer is. It has nothing to do with how good the product is, it has nothing to do with that. All I'm talking about is the dollar. A person that's spending 10 bucks a day versus someone spending a hundred bucks a day. What is the difference? The only difference is the fact that the person spending a hundred bucks a day is going to, is going to, is going to be able to have that ad run to thousands, thousands more people to see if the offer is even good. So in this case, on a lower budget, we're having to maybe run it for a few more days because we, we need a little bit more data because of the dollar amount to see if it even works, right? 10 bucks a day, I'm going to stretch it out seven days. And, and, and then on the fifth day, I'm going to see if it's actually working versus if I just spent 70 bucks today, I'm going to find, if, find out if the damn thing's working or not today. You know yeah. what I mean? Do you see the difference there? So- 70 bucks over seven days, you're going to wait seven days to see if the damn thing works. I'm going to spend 70 bucks today to see if the damn thing works. Right. That's the difference. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 um, but not, we're not, not everyone's going to start at 70 bucks a day at all. So that's why you just kind of start small, you know, start smaller, let it, let it gradually go for a few days. And then in a few days, check it to see if it, if it's actually producing. And so okay. scheduling, it could be good where we schedule it for eight days. We review it. We, re, we, we review it in, in anywhere from five to seven days and, and reviewing it simply consists of seeing if leads came in or not seeing if people are clicking on it or not. We're going to be able to look at all those metrics and we'll do that on our, on our next call. So that, that will okay. allow us to determine, should we leave it on and let it actually run for the damn month or a little longer from another week or whatever, or do we shut it off? Right. That's what's going to allow us to just simply look at the numbers and, and make that decision. Okay. So, but on the, on the other hand, what you want to do is you want to get in the habit of running these ads every week. You want to get in the habit of at least making a video. Sometimes you won't have to run the next one the next week. Sometimes this one ad is giving you leads and you'll let it run for longer. Right. But mentally, and, and even just overall, you want to get in the habit of producing a new video every week. Mm -hmm. Just get in that habit, get in that habit. And you're going to do, and you're, you're going to do, you're going to do great. Because at the end of the day, that's where I see everyone drop the ball. I'm teaching you how to run it. I'm teaching you how to build a landing page. But at the end of the day, that person has to actually put out the ad. And so where right. I see everyone drop it is, is, they, is they, they don't stay consistent with that ad. Now that they know how to run it, they don't stay consistent with it. Maybe this week that ad didn't go well. Okay, cool. Well, where's the second one? They weren't consistent with it. They forgot to put the next video out or for whatever reason. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. If you can, if you can just say, Hey, today's my day, every freaking Thursday, there's going to be a new video on that page, no matter what, that's how you should be looking at it from this day forward. You know what I mean? So yeah. we'll leave it on automatic. We'll scroll down, hit next, nothing else over here. Actually, you know what? Go back up. I'm so sorry. Go back up. We have the locations. We didn't do the locations. I'm, I'm over here going too fast. So scroll down, scroll down, go down, 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 conversion event budget. We're good there. Audience, um, the location, change out the location. So location, whatever we name here is normally what I'll name in the title. People living in this location is what you'll go with. People living in this location. Um, at a location. Oh, here it is. No, people living in. Hit the drop down again. People living in this location. That's recently, and they're all different. If you read them, they're all different. People recently in, people traveling. Yeah, people living in, perfect. So Tacoma, and then when you're typing something in, always go with the dropdown. Like always, always look for the dropdown. 
okay, scroll down. So it's 15 miles. Is that the, is that your radius? Uh, um, I mean, I, I can go. It's up to you. Whatever you do go with, stick with. So if it's 20 miles, 25 miles, whatever, that becomes your, um, type in the number and then hit enter. That becomes your targeting. You want to stay within target of this actual um, um, location. So remember that from this point on, it's 20. So 20, Tacoma 20, perfect. And, and, and you might want to put that in the title of the, of, the, of the tab at the top, the title. Scroll back up. You got Tacoma. You got the daily budget. And then you got, go back up, 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 all the way to the top. You got the title. You got the Tacoma. Change that to 10 and maybe put slash 20 miles. You know, that's the description. That's the title. That's what allow, will allow you to look at it without having to click in to see what's going on. You can just look at the title of the, of the, of the, se of the section of step two here. Okay, good. We're good there. So scroll down. Um, locations there, age. We won't put any detail targeting. Sometimes we'll put keywords. Today we won't. This is our first one. We want it to go as broad as possible out to Tacoma. Languages, you may want to narrow that in. You may want to go English all. If you just type in English, you'll see all right there at the top. So that's fine. And then scroll down. We'll leave it on automatic placement and we're good. So hit next. And that's it for step two. So now step three, go ahead and hit the red triangle. Connect your Instagram. Just hit the red triangle. No, actually, is it already connected? Click on the drop down. Yeah, click there. Yeah, it's already there. So hit the drop down. Perfect. So scroll down. And then all we're going to do is we're going to actually you passed it. Create ad. Back up. Click on create ad, and we're going to go use existing post. Use existing post. Okay, perfect. And then select post. And then you'll see it over here. And then all we'll do is we'll just select that post and then hit continue. Awesome. We'll continue. Okay, perfect. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to simply add our button so we're going to scroll down call to action we're going to add button and then we're going to simply type in or, or actually copy and paste our landing page Okay, perfect. So we're good. So now you scroll down, you look at tracking. You got you got the pixel. That's good. We're good there. And then publish. That's it. That's it. Now, last thing we got to do really, really quick is we want to, yeah, publishing one of three. You want that to always go publishing three of three and turn green. And the last few calls, that ends up getting stuck for whatever reason. And, and that's what's happening to you. It's publishing one of three, it's stuck. So what you do if it gets stuck like that, you open up a new tab. So go to open up a new tab, go back to um, the um, Facebook manager. So go back to the ads manager. No, in the new tab. So we're gonna get back to this page in the new tab. Go back to, if you gotta hit your folder, go to folder and go to, go to ads manager. Okay, cool. So when it gets stuck like that, that, ends up being the blue button in the top right. So review and publish three, that's that. Those are the three levels that were that are stuck. So publish here, and then you're good. That should go three of three and it turn green. You're waiting for it to turn green at the bottom right. There it is there, multiple items publish green. So we're good. So now hit the three lines in the top left. You always, always, always wanna get in the habit, audiences, Uh, yeah, you always want to get in the habit of, of creating a custom audience around that video. So that's what we got to do real quick is click on audiences. No, I, I have been. It just was. Up. And then over here, we're going to simply click on the blue one, create. And then we're going to go audience, create custom audience. You got to get a mouse. You don't have a mouse, huh? Yes, I do. Do you? I yeah. have a mouse. Yeah. We'll go video. Click on video and then hit next. Okay, cool. And then right here, just hit the drop down and we'll go with, 
we'll go with 15 seconds. Let's go with 15 seconds. From this point on, we're going to be going with 15 seconds. So hit the drop down, 15 seconds. This is just simply grabbing the audience of all those who watched it for 15 seconds. So click on choose videos to the right. And then go ahead and change that to change it to change it to 90. You're going to do 90 days retention, 90 days. Yeah, perfect. And then audience name, just go ahead and give it the same name that you named the um, the the same name that you named the video, which was what seller guide car. And then you put no, actually, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be 20 miles. Anastasia, give me give me one minute. It wouldn't be 20 miles. It's just it's just the video. It's just the audience of the video. So seller guide, oh, I... seller's guide car video, you know. Um, and if you do more videos in car, in the car, you'll want to get even more descriptive than that, right? Because you're not going to know which car video that was, you know, unless you put down black shirt, red shirt. I was wearing a hat. You know, you want to get super descriptive. So hit done. And then okay. there goes that audience. So now you have the custom audience of the video. You have the custom audience of the landing page. And of course the thank you page, but, but that's what you want to do is get in the habit of always, when you put up a video, always come back and create a custom audience. Okay. Okay. And that's what we just did. So let that one run. And then, um, and then let's chat, let's chat either, either in five days or six days. And then we'll review that at it. But, but okay, also, perfect. also uh, right. get in the habit of making your weekly videos, get in that habit. Okay, cool. That's the thing I'm slacking on making. No, videos. you're not. You're doing freaking great. You're freaking crushing it. You're doing super awesome. You, you're doing these, you're doing them. You're doing it. Now it's just, now it's just staying in the habit, staying in the habit. All right. And, and, and sometimes people will just simply yeah. knock out four videos like right away. So just whatever makes it easier for you, but yeah. one a week needs to go on that business page. Okay. Cool. I think I'll do that. Yeah. Just not. Thank you, David. You're so, so welcome. Chat soon. Bye-bye.